welcome back to more videos. I'm over in Fantax today. So today is the final video on these leaks that happened in the data mines. And this is where things get very strange. For some unknown reason, when these files were data mined, there was all the vehicles we talked about, but then there was these mechs. You heard me right, mechs. It's like some Metal Gear stuff. I kind of wanted to make this video a Metal Gear meme, but I'm not really good at imitating others' voices. Four different nations got mechs, but most of them were going to the United States and Germany. So starting with the US ones, at the very low level, I assume, we have a Sherman. Just a regular Sherman turret on some sort of mech chassis. It's obvious that it incorporates parts of a regular Sherman chassis. But what's also interesting is these look nothing like the mechs from April Fool's many years back. These are completely different designs with full new chassis designed, though they definitely use current in-game turrets. There was also a Calliope mech, which is just a Calliope turret on the mech chassis. Then what we had was seemed to be a Pershing turret on the same mech chassis, though I know that there's an ATGM launcher on top. Then we had a M42 turreted mech, but the entire turret was actually encapsulated. It had a roof. It also had what looks to be two recordless rifles sticking out the side to go along with your 40 millimeter Bofors. The other mech that shares this chassis has the turret of the Chardon, but that's not all. It also happens to have quad rocket pods on each side. After that, we have another type of chassis that's looking more like a Pershing. The turret, however, kind of looks like a generic US tank turret, but I can't pin it down exactly to what tank it is. It's not the Pershing or the M46 or the T25 or a regular Sherman. On top of it is an array of things, including looks to be a radar dish, two rocket pods that could carry six rockets, I assume, and a smaller caliber cannon of some sort. The final mech for the United States I titled M60 or something, as that's why I thought it could be based off, but looking at the M60 and looking at this thing, there's quite a bit difference. This thing has a main turret with what looks like two main cannons, a regular main cannon and like a 40 mm 40 millimeter coaxial, 40 millimeter coaxial cannon, and then two miniguns mounted on the sides. The chassis looks not particularly like any tank that I could figure out. The driver patch is to the side, but any tank past the Pershings don't seem to have the driver to the side except for the XF1. And the oddest part is that there are jet engines all over it. However, this one here I think is probably not the prime example, but it's quite obvious that there's things clipping through. You can see what looks like a Pershing mantlet poking through the turret of the thing. It does not look like it had been professionally modeled together, more of they just slap assets together. A lot of people are speculating this to be for the next April Fool's event to happen sometime in 2022. Literally 2022, that's like so weird. We're in the future, man. And it kind of sucks, honestly. But from sources I can't share with you, I never got the impression that they put this much foresight into April Fools. It always seemed to be a thing that they did in just a few months, not almost an entire year of preparation. Now that's not to say that these won't pop up in April Fools. That's entirely a possibility. And actually something that a lot of people would love to see. But I wouldn't be surprised this is the last that we ever see these things. And I'll expand on that point in a bit. But first, Germany had received also a large number of these mechs. And oh man, am I not really sure where to start with these? Okay, let's try with, first off, a Tiger H1 looking mech. Or is it more of a Tiger E? Kind of expect what you think a Tiger would look like if it was a bipedal robot. Then we have the same configuration, but the turret has been replaced with a Tiger 2H turret. Then we have a Panther F turret on a different chassis, which is actually quite standard. No additional weapons attached to it. Next over we have the same chassis, but this has a Panzer IV turret on it, as well as a large rocket pod on the cupola. The next one was kind of funny. It was a Panzer III that did not skip leg day. It also has a rocket pod, but also some sort of smaller caliber cannon. Well, at least I assume it's smaller caliber. They both look like they're the same caliber. Personally, I thought this one was funny because obviously it has a Panzer III turret, but the chassis is bigger than the Panzer IV one. Now, the last two are really strange. They got four legs instead of just two. The first one being obviously a Tiger II P turret, but with applicate armor, which looks kind of cool. It also seems to have some rockets attached to the back. This one, I think, looks really cool. The other ones, in some ways, I think are a little corny, but these ones are very nice. Whatever board 3D artist made these, these ones are top-notch. The other one is also, I think, 
like a Tiger 2P, but a bit different. It also has the weird rocket pod slash small caliber cannon on top, a bunch of antenna for some reason, and it looks more like the legs are just more well armored. The last two are for actually two separate nations. We have one for, it is a AMX-13 mech, and the Russian one is very strange. It is an IS-2 spider mech, but this one also seems the least incomplete. If you notice, the legs don't have a proper texture on them, and there's bits that are very obviously just arbitrary shapes that would probably be formed into proper details. At least as I assume how you do 3D modeling. I don't know. I don't do that stuff. But this here is primarily why I'm uncertain exactly what these are going to be used for. Because why would you just leave a model basically half finished like you have here? Perhaps they were working on it, but how did they get onto the dev server if it was in such an early state? I don't know. What do you think the purpose of these mechs are? Personally, I do actually hope it is April Fool's. Or you know what would be cool is like War Thunder, but with mechs. Like all this historical accuracy stuff is too restricting. Let's get a little crazy and fantasy-like. Of course, that would be only appropriate in a whole different game. They should make, like, big robots in Fallout. I've been watching too many Fallout videos lately. Alright, so this video has been put on hiatus for, like, a day or two, because I had to go drive for ten hours. Let's talk about some of the other things that were found in this little leak. We actually found some maps for new ground maps. First, there was Flat Fuda, Krimsk V2, which I think is just actually the old version of the map. You guys should bring that back so I can do some more spawn camping. And then there was a new one, North Port, which is apparently a ground map. Looks a bit like our current port map, but different. Then there was some naval ones, African Gulf, England Shore, Far East, which might also be an old one. Norway Flords, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Leningrad, which is another ground map, but much less detailed. Pacific River, which is an air map, I guess repurposed for naval. Siegfried Line, which would be actually a kind of cool map. And then Siegfried Line 2, which is probably the same map, but maybe for aircraft. You can't really judge if a map will be good or not based off the top-down view for your mini-map. Knowing that Gaijin can only make bad maps, I'm going to assume that they all suck anyways. Beyond that, I don't really have anything else to add to this subject. And this video is later than I had hoped. So I want to first give a thank you to all of you. Every single person on the planet. But primarily my Patreons, YouTube members, and Twitch subs. Thank you very much, guys. If you want to join them, because they get videos a little bit early. I post them on my Discord and the YouTube community post system. For those who donate five or more dollars a month, thank you very much once again. You know, this is kind of completely random, but I feel like making videos unrelated to War Thunder. I know zero of you will watch them, but I have a feeling my life might get a little chaotic in the future, so I might have a little fun with this. Anyways, comments, concerns, or questions, you know what to do. If you don't, uh, that's kind of odd. In the terms of bonus news, why don't you go research some bitches?